All right, so we have some easy ones today. Optical fiber cable and cable routing assembly. Okay, optical fiber cable or fiber optic. Uh, that's an assembly of optical fibers in an overall covering. Um, this is kind of a, a strange, when, when, you, when you first think about this, uh, you know, optical fiber does not use electricity. It, it transmits light. So it, it sort of begs the question, well, why is it in the National Electrical Code? Well, because we have to regulate it, um, at least in terms of like its smoke production, where you can put it, toxicity. So it, it has similar provisions that you would find like with twisted pair cable in Article 800 or signaling cable in 725 or coaxial cable in Article 820. Uh, and the fact of the matter is we, we do have to regulate this. But more importantly is often it's not just optical fiber cable. This is what we would call non-conductive uh, optical fiber cable. This is type O F M O F N R optical fiber non-conductive riser rated. But it comes in a few different flavors. You have the composite cable, and here's where it definitely has to be included in the National Electrical Code because this is a optical fiber cable that contains both optical fibers and current carrying electrical conductors. Okay, well, it needs to be in the NEC if it has current carrying conductors. So we definitely have to regulate composite optical fiber cable. And as you can see here, it clearly tells us that this is composite uh, optical fiber cable. So there you go. We've also got conductive optical fiber cable. And that's a cable that contains optical fibers and conductive parts like strength members, but no current carrying conductors. All right, this is a conductive optical fiber cable. You can see that it says armored cable right on it. So this is just optical fibers inside of this. And you can see up here, this is optical fiber conductive plenum rated. So the last letter, whether it's uh, G, uh, which is general, or R, which is riser, or P, which is plenum, the last letter tells us uh, what we can do with it, where we can install it. OF, of course, are optical fiber, and then you have uh, conductive, non-conductive, and you have composite, as we discussed. Non-conductive optical fiber cable is just optical fiber, so an optical fiber cable that does not have any conductive parts. So OF and R is the most common, or OFN, uh, and then R or P, depending on where you need to install it, whether it's a riser or a plenum. Uh, a riser is when we penetrate a floor. If I penetrate a floor, I have to have a riser rated cable. That's, uh, that's true whether we're talking about uh, uh, optical fiber or twisted pair or coaxial cable, any cable. Uh, if I'm penetrating floor, it needs to have an R at the end. If I'm putting it in an air handling system like a, pl like a uh, plenum, then it has to have a P at the end, which, which of course is for plenum. The other thing that we have is what we call a cable routing assembly, and that's a channel with associated fittings for supporting and routing cables for communications, optical fiber, data, class two, class three, power limited tray cable, and power limited fire alarm. So this uh, plastic stuff right here that you use to route your cables, that would be a cable routing assembly. Told you it was gonna be an easy one today.